of <coughs> with all respect and love to my master's feet and going in my master's feet I am starting the eleven part of this book discourse. The history of India says that Kurukshetra where the, the Mahabharata battle was fought the ancient time there was a Yagna or Duda, God and the Goddesses. But I am very amazed when the God and Goddesses do the Yagna and that Himself God and Goddess is doing the Yagna who has sent the sacrifice of the yagna because in generally the ahutis and sacrifices given to the god and goddesses so this is the meaning of this yagna is another not like this because the brahma and other all god and goddesses do the yagna and who is the superior than Brahma and who sent the sacrifice and avuti in the fire for for who was the object? So this is the meaning is other. Your body, your mind, your intellect your mood, your ego, these are all the Kurukshetra. And if anyone want to enlist, anyone want to enlightenment or Atma Jnana, even he is the like and God and Goddess, he should become in this Kurukshetra of the human body. Because the Ramayana says, Jo virenchi sankar sam hoi, guru bin bhav nidhi tare ki koi, if you are become the strong and powerful like a Shiva or the Brahma, but you cannot cross this ocean of the river, ocean of the illusion, without the help of master you cannot go cross so the meaning of this yagna which is performed in the kurukshetra it is the meaning that your mind your physical body intellect your mood your ego that is the great opportunity to be a God, be a Satchidananda Paramatma. And never be less than Satchidananda Paramatma. Even you will become the God of the heaven you have to come again on the earth after the evening your time because the, the, the all the god and the goddesses of the heaven they comes on the earth there is uh, several examples moksha is another thing and reaching heaven is another thing moksha is the very very superior superior position There is an example of Lord Vishma, Ganga become the mother, the Ashtavasu, the last Vasu is Vishma, 
देर इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द रावण कंसा हिरणा कश्यप दे आर नॉट लेस देन देवता दे आर किंग्स ऑफ ऑल थ्री प्लेनेट्स सो माई डियर फ्रेंड द डोर मैन ऑफ द लॉर्ड विष्णु इज नॉट लेस देन द देवता बिकॉज द ड्राइवर ऑफ ए कार इज नॉट बिगर देन द देन द पायलट ऑफ द एरोप्लेन सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स नेवर बी द डिजायर ऑफ बिकम ए गॉड एंड गॉडेस ऑलवेज बन टू बी ए इमोटल सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा सोल एंड ऑलवेज वन टू बी समर्ज इन द एग्जिस्टेंस बी एग्जिस्टेंस ऑल माई डी शिवा टेक द समाधि ब्रह्मा चेंट द मंत्र विष्णु डू द मेडिटेशन बट इट इज वेरी मेरेकुलस and it is very clear thing in the ramayana shankar sahaj swarup samara lagi samadhi akhand apara so the natural existence if you know if you live in your atma gyana that is your very simple and natural stage that is called samadhi and that is unbreakable and that is beyond the time place and condition so the awareness in your easy stage of your natural existence this is the atma sakshatkara this is the supreme supreme enlightenment but some persons has a wrong description of this stage some person say that when the shankara when the shiva broke his samadhi and he sat in the fire of kamdeva but they do not know the real meaning of this phenomena when you are living the existence where you are living in the simple and natural presence of god inside of you that will be become a unbreakable condition an unbreakable stage and infinite stage of your knowing so the your lust automatically burn there is no need there is no place for lust because lust is the dark enlightenment is light my dear friend the ramana says guru shiv jo viranch shankar sam hoi vin guru bhav nidhi tare na ki koi if you are become like the god shiva god brahma but you cannot cross this river of osi river of soro without help of satguru so in the prayer satguru admire like a supreme god guru sakshat par brahma the satguru is direct god in front of you my dear friend the ramayana says bite sampat sahas satasi taji samaj dhi sambhu avinashi that is the wrong version of the literary persons samadhi never give up the sahaj samadhi is atma gyana it cannot be give up like that so 87000 year after the shiva leave the samadhi that is the wrong version
it shows if you are you have no atma jnana and if you sit 87000 years in a place that you cannot be enlightened you cannot be free only the sadguru transform it in you that your samadhi will never broken and you can live in existence and you can can live in your natural state and you can live in the great pleasure of the ocean so the real samadhi never broke bhaiya my dear friend you have not so long life like 87000 years you have a very short life and you can choose my sachidananda meditation way then you will be no your sachidananda form of existence supreme god in you that you have no need of any samadhi my dear friend in the hindu mythology there is many many things written by the blind persons i will not describe here because there is they, these are not useful for you even i write written it in the book but that is written for the indian persons my dear friend i want to tell that the kurukshetra is the field of your doing and every doing brings the unconsciousness every doing push you in the maya every doing create an illusions so be careful be aware and do the meditation of awareness when you do the meditation of awareness then you will come out from all illusions of the maya and even when you do the meditation of awareness then after 3 or 4 month you will feel tension freeness and you will be safe from the tension created diseases and the blood pressure angina the heart attack the brain hemorrhage they will not come in your life and many many more diseases like the sleeping disorder organ failure etc and you will be also safe from infections because your intellect will become divine and keen and you will not take the impure food and you will not take the impure water infected water so you can save yourself your physical body by many many diseases by this applied meditation of awareness sakshi which is i am teaching you second thing is that if you will live and you will learn how to live in awareness sakshi meditation then you can see any phobia will come but you will not affect on faith uh, you will not come in the effect of phobia because the phobia will come and go and it will not touch to you so you will not be a phobic you will become a fearless person brave person the mania will come you will not trust to the mania mania will come and go and you will live in your peaceful and stable condition and the depression many many diseases they will not come in your life you will be safe in the mental level also so the physical diseases will not come to you and mental diseases will not come to you after doing this meditation this meditation is a very very great medicine medicine of the prevention of all physical and mental diseases and even you can co- not cost in lust you will not cost in anger you will not cost in caught in greed 
and you will never involve in any crime. So, my dear friend, only the love will remain in you, the head will go, the negativity will go by this meditation. When the maximum person will do this meditation, then the society will change, the family will change, our families will become more lover, loving, understanding, more coordinating families, more mutual understanding families, and the families, environment will become loving and tensionless and fightingless, quarrelless. My dear friend, then the families will become good, the societies will become good, the societies will become good, then our nations will become good, then our nations will become good, there is no need of any fighting, any war, any crisis between the nations. So when we are using the warheads, the weapons, the fighter jets, the tanks and many, many equipment, very, very costly equipment, then they will not need to us. They will not, we will purchase. We will not make atom bombs and hydrogen bombs and neutron bombs. This meditation, as as this meditation will spread on this earth, the earth will be changed. And earth will be peaceful, loving, pleasant and mutually understand and careful each other. When this meditation will spread, this earth will become like a heaven. There is no need of the armies or army infrastructure and very, very expensive infrastructure. So we can save our lot of money from our general hospitals, mental hospitals, our judiciary's expenditures, our police expenditures, our army expenditures, we, will, we can cut because that will become unnecessary. When, then we will be make a common army of the world for fighting with evil skewed de demons, they will not they will not accept anything of good persons. So, we will only need the prevention from demons. We can fight with a joint venture, with a joint effort. So, the United Nations organization will be more effective and impartial and balanced. So, this meditation is most precious gift for the world. So I call this meditation the meditation of awareness and I impose on us a great mission. The name of mission is World Peace by Meditation. My dear friend, as, as you accept the yoga and other things, you please accept this meditation because this meditation is beyond every religion this meditation is beyond every type of communal feelings. This is a just like science invention as a wristwatch, as a fan, as a refrigerator, as a car. This is also invention of spiritual science and it is beneficial for all humanity or all world. Uh, this is the gift of my heart, all of you, and I take on this gift from the ancient enlightened masters of this world. Thank you very much. Love you very much. Thank you.